Now mounted on his horse and patched by his side, he sped off down the track leading back to the village. As he sped through the village, he noticed it was devoid of any signs of life. He galloped on up past the witch's house and onto the chasm of many falls where he spotted a lone figure. It was one-eyed Pete. Have you been here long? asked Fox. A couple of minutes. Shall we get going? The two riders trotted down the track that would lead to the Pain Mountains and the dreaded Gorge of Few Returns. It wasn't long before they came to the part of the track where they had to dismount. The two men led their mounts along the narrow and in some places crumbling path in total silence, not wanting to cause any rock falls. It seemed like an eternity for Fox before he could remount his horse and feel a sense of being a little safer, although he knew he wouldn't be out of danger until he was at the oasis and burial site at the beginning of the Gorge of Few Returns. The two riders stopped at the Pool of Souls and the graveyard to water the horses. Fox gazed into the pool and saw all the faces were at peace. Well, it seems like the father and son must have found peace, said Fox. Yes, when Pearl Danker was killed and the curse was lifted from our village, they found peace. Perhaps they were all reunited in the afterlife. It would be nice to think that even after all the wicked things she did, the gods would forgive her and see that it was grief that made her lose her mind. She must have loved her husband so much and to lose your only child. I'm not excusing her, but the sense of loss must have been overwhelming. Well, Fox, I have got you here. You can make the rest of the journey on your own. It's easy from here on. One thing I wanted to ask you before I go. I hope you don't think I'm being impertinent, said One-Eyed Pete. No, my old mate, you go ahead and ask whatever you like, said Fox.